Can I start with you, Carol, and just ask how you would characterise uh, the government's response and whether you feel that they were taking it seriously? Um, well, the fact that it, you just said it was three and a half months late, I think, characterises it uh, entirely. That you know, There are a few facts that we need to begin with. The fact is that women need to be supported more when they go through menopausal years. The other fact, menopausal years can be very difficult and uh, detrimentally life-changing for a large number of women. And also nearly 16 million women are at work at the moment. And yet, <coughs> Maria uh, Caulfield can't be bothered to turn up. She's refused your request to turn up today. And worse than that, when confronted with this, I have to admit I was doing a little uh, active work on Twitter yesterday. She said that she'd written a letter to you with alternative dates a week ago. She was very specific about that and replied to me yesterday when I said that she'd refused to come in, that she said, absolutely not true. And then ha uh, we found her deleted all of that from Twitter later. And, and also, I was horrified when I was watching Kemi Badenoch, uh, the Minister for... Uh, uh, women and, and Equalities a number of weeks ago when you were questioning her, Carolyn. And um, I just couldn't, I, I could not, as a woman, a postmenopausal woman who was from a working class background, get over the patronising statements that she made. I thought they were insulting. They were insulting to all women. She, she basically said, uh, to, to Carolyn, this was a left-wing issue when we were talking about menopause and a pilot in the workplace, and characteristically compared women going through terrible, terrible menopausal symptoms with those uh, who would want um, to uh, have uh, uh, certain things that are given by government to those with ginger hair, to short people. I mean, it was just... What am I listening to here? It's the 21st century. This was like going back 100 years to when women just had the vote. I could not believe it. You know, when women make up almost half of the workforce, and yet these are the two women in government who are meant to be representing fe the female population. I was disgusted, to be perfectly honest, by both of them. Absolutely disgusted.